I'm Amanda Leroux, the founder of Ariala Ministries. Somebody asked me the question, when do you find your identity? I think we are all aware that we live in an identity-confused world where millions of people have the challenge of finding their true identity. A natural tendency is to search for your identity in external things like a job, a career, relationships, friendships, or even your physical appearance. All of these might feel like a solid foundation, but none of them are permanent. Any of them could change without warning, as we know. If you base your identity on things like success, wealth, power, a physical appearance, um, and so on, you are setting yourself up for sure great disappointment. A sudden job loss can leave you questioning your choices in life. A piece of gossip can easily destroy your reputation even if it is untrue. Your appearance will change as you age and, and you get older. However, God is unchanging. He is reliable. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. He said, let us create men and women according to our image and likeness. And He did just that. Maybe you say, like many people I've heard, but Adam and Eve messed up and we sit with the consequence of their sin. The good news is that Jesus Christ has redeemed the mess and turned it into something powerful and beautiful. He turned our mess into a message. You know, 1 John 4, 17b says, As He, talking about Jesus, as He is, so are we in this world. Isn't that phenomenal? That through the cross work, the Jesus Christ, not only redeemed us to be like Adam, but He redeemed us and He made us a new creation that looks like, acts like, can think like, and do what Jesus Christ did. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 confirms, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is crafted in, joined to Him by faith in Him as Saviour, he is a new creation. Hallelujah! Isn't that good news? He's reborn, renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition have passed away. Behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings a new life. Isn't this good news, family? Now, if you find your identity in Jesus, you will never be disappointed because He has proven time and time again to be trustworthy. And Revelation 19, 11 says, His name is faithful and true. He is faithful. It is important as you define your identity that God not be an aspect of who you are, but you know, sometimes we can say, I'm a Christian, I'm spiritual, I'm reborn, I'm religious. And we never allow the truth of the word to transform us, to transform our mindsets, how we see ourselves, how we live every day. Understanding your legitimate identity in Christ starts with understanding who He is, what He says about Himself, His nature, His character defines what He says about you, who He made you to be. Your identity can be defined by who He is making you to be in Him as a new creation. To be able to understand your identity as a follower of Christ, you need to understand how He sees you. Therefore, we need to study the Word of God. It's tempting to build your identity on what you accomplish or even, you know, as I say, your career, your success, but this is not a stable foundation. So your true identity is ultimately based on what God has done for you. Nothing that you can do 
can purge your true identity. It's spiteful. Some of the things that the Word of God says you are, is you are loved, you are chosen, forgiven, redeemed, you are adopted, you are justified and righteous. You become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And the best of all, you are His treasured possession. So let me pray for us. Father, I thank you for this opportunity and this wonderful reminder that Jesus has made everything new in us. We were created according to your image and likeness and he perfected us through the cross of Calvary. Lord, help us to take up our new identity, to make the exchange, not to try and perform or to change, but to make this wonderful exchange and to walk out in our true identity in Jesus Christ. Amen.